Sky Futures was one of the first CA approved national qualified entities. We work in the North Sea, that's our daily business, and all of our instructors we use also work in the North Sea, so they've got great currency in their training. At the Sky Futures Training Academy, we specialise in training the emergency services and government agencies. And the reason we work so well together is because we've both got a zero tolerance approach to safety critical activity. That does mean at the end of the course, if the pilot is not good enough to pass, they won't pass. But to be honest, that's unlikely because it's a residential course and that means we can maximise their training time to lead to the success of qualifying good pilots. Sky Futures Training Academy at the Fly Service College is quite unique as it has over 350 acres available in which to train safely. Within that area there are multiple venues where we are able to create realistic exercises to challenge the flying skills of the trainee remote pilots. The site is completely enclosed, secure and each venue is segregated. This is helpful in terms of being able to control distractions to our remote pilots. This enables them to remain safe at all times and to focus on the task. Remember we're always thinking about the what if, the what if, okay, if something was to go wrong right now, okay, what would you do? Here at the Sky Futures Training Academy we offer three courses. We offer a two-day basic course, a three-day intermediate course and then a five-day advanced course. At the end you'll be assessed to make sure you're safe and competent with the system. The types of scenarios they ran were very pertinent and appropriate for the fire service and for the police and for the ambulance. I'm not sure any other provider would be able to give that type of scenario-based training. As a company, we have over 9,000 hours of operational flying, so all the instructors have a high level of expertise. When we finish this course, the pilots we've had trained here would definitely be ready to fly from day one, really. We wasn't looking for someone who was just going to throw a qualification our way after two days. We wanted someone who would actually improve the, the abilities and the competencies of, of our remote pilots. <laughs>